hello guys welcome back to my channel today's video i'm going to show you guys how to make rounded edges for your renders using V-Ray alone without the need of any extra plugin let's get to it okay now we are back into our sketchup scene right now and i have a very very simple easy to follow scene opening for lights and then i have two countertops modeled into my space so we all know when modeling with various software sketchup and revit as i know very very well the edges are always straight and sharp as we can see this one here this in real life if it's done for a countertop will be very serious at that because running your hands through this you're surely definitely going to get cut so what's done in real life is that you round these edges using either a grinder or something to just round the edge to make it smooth enough that your hand can run through without getting cut and that's what we're going to replicate here in 3d so let's get into it firstly you're going to have to create your material using i'm using very 6 for sketchup which is the latest no the latest is 6.2 but well, this is still the latest V-Ray for SketchUp right now. And I have a marble top straight edge, which is this that I have here. I'm going to give this an interactive render so I'll show you guys what it looks like in 3D. Okay, this is exactly what this countertop looks like right now. So as you can see, as the render is clearing up, you can see our sharp edges all around this plane like this. And this is what we're going to try and round. We want to round these edges right now. So let me stop this interactive render right now and then go into it. So right now what I have in this material, I have the diffuse, I have a reflection, and I have a bump map. A, a normal map for the marble so now for you for you to make this work you're going to have to add a new bump map into your V-Ray material this is available from V-Ray 5 and 6 unfortunately V-Ray 4 and V-Ray next users don't have this ability to have two bump maps for one material so now what i'm going to do in this second bump map is I'm going to change this into a local space bump and then in this I am going to add before I do that let me duplicate this yes and then I'll turn this to round edge because this is the one that's going to have a round edge for us and when I come back to my straight edge I don't need this second bump anymore so coming back to my round edge I'm going to have a local space bump not the bump map, local space bump. And in my texture slot, I'm going to scroll down and select edges. And under edges, you can see you have edge color, background color, a lot of settings here, but all we're concerned with right now is the width. And it's in your scene units. My scene units are in millimeters. So this is 0.1 mm, basically. So I can be going up 0.5, 1, and going up like that so right now as i've applied that to that to this material let me try an interactive render to show you guys what it looks like right now okay as the render is clearing up let's zoom into this edge so you have a more defined look at what is going on you can already see that there's a bevel that has formed along this line yeah, it is smoother than what we had before. So now, the reason why I had to duplicate that material, we want to apply it to two different countertops facing each other. Okay, so I'm going to have these two and I'll go to my straight edge and apply it onto this guy right here. Right onto this guy right here. Let me just copy the settings for this. Yeah. Okay. So basically, I have the same identical material applied, but 
one has a straight edge one has a rounded edge to it and i'm going to make my round edge more prominent in the settings i'm going to increase this to 0 0.5 so you can see the width goes rounder here so this is the width at which is going to bevel your edge so what i'm going to do i'm going to hit an interactive render and show you guys what it looks like right now okay interactive render has started let me turn up the exposure for this scene a bit let's make it five oh this is a lot mm, 3.5 yeah 3.5 is okay so now let's take a look at these two edges the view that shows the two of them for me okay now we can see our rounded edge here over here it's completely beveled as you can see here right now we no longer have a strat a straight a sharp straight edge right now it's completely beveled your hand can run through this and you will not get cut opposed to what we have here on the left on the left here which is a sharp edge if i turn this now you can see the render we still have our sharp edge over here i'm going to put this over one another and do a render right now to show you guys them side by side in a full render without the interactive okay our render is finished and you can take a look at the difference these two have one has a really sharp edge while the other has a beveled edge to it this all happened in v-ray with no rounding edge plugin utilized all simply by just using the edges texture in your secondary bump space and using a local space bump opposed to a bump map you can also use this in your bump loadout if you don't have a primary bump to add to your material but i'll suggest using the secondary one because this is more it tends to give you the more realistic results because you normally need a bump map for any material that you're applying in your render so if i just take a look at the difference that these two have okay thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed this tutorial please do leave a like for the video and if you want to see more videos and also want to stay connected to our channel you can subscribe right here um thank you guys so much for watching the video once again again thank you so much for 3000 subscribers as well i'll see you guys in the next one